you wait. And he gets to go back in, he's dream alive. So I hold that photo in my heart, my entire life. Just try to keep the dream alive. We used to live in a country where people cared about one another. We used to live in a country where people would look after one another and make sure that their neighbor is not left behind, doesn't have children that are starving. But in today's society, we don't care unless it directly affects us. Because we go to work, do a Monday job, turn off our brains while we watch the television. Australian culture used to be volunteer organisations all over. And they used to build the infrastructure that this country is founded on. It wasn't the government. It was local country towns doing fundraising so that they could have a pool. Local country towns doing fundraising so that they could have a pool. Local country fundraising, volunteerism. When I was six years, 16 years old, I was on the front line of one of the biggest fire seasons in my local town. 16 years old, in the bushfire brigade. You're not allowed to do that anymore. The requirement to be on the front lines of the bushfire brigade is 18 years old. And recently, during the flood, people who hadn't had a vaccine were not allowed to help in the search and rescue efforts for people that were suffering from hardship. We live in a society that is splitting us apart telling us that our own ego is more important than the great good. Telling us to focus on our own needs and that everyone else is stupid because we're not following the rules, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. The television has programmed you in Stockholm Syndrome. Where you believe that the people on television have more authority than your own. There is a change coming in this country, and if you haven't awoken to it yet, be, pre be prepared. Because you don't realize that there's a lot that you don't know. There's a lot that we still don't know. And the fact that the person running our country has been...